a new cycle is occurring. A new IT cycle, if you will. It's been so many years since the last IT movie. We're here to talk about IT Chapter 1. Psych! 1990. It Chapter 2, also 1990. Also 1990. One day, two days later? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Mm. We're going to do part one this week. Come back next week for part two. We're very excited. If anyone's interested. Which you shouldn't be, because these are mostly <laughs> bad. Okay, let me ask you this. Yes. First of all, give us a like, Mason. Give us a bloody thumbs up, and to the people in the comments. Oh, I thought you meant about the <laughs> miniseries. And I'm like, I won't give it a like. <laughs> I didn't watch this as a kid. Yeah. This doesn't affect me for good or ill. I think somebody as a kid described it to me. I'm like, that's terrifying. I don't yeah. know if I have the stones, <laughs> the cojones to watch it. I'll only watch it as a very much a grown adult. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Intentionally? All no. The, yeah. I don't think you so. didn't enjoy the amazing comedic performance of whichever the guy is who does the funny voices. Oh, uh, 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 Seth, Seth Green's Green, character. And then, like... and then another guy. But yeah, this, uh, this series, I guess, to its credit, this is more structured like the book, though. Well, the thing about it being structured is as like the book the modern day it movies it's the entire storyline with the the kids as kids yep and then decades later it chapter two presumably is just them as adults this one it's alternates it's the modern day and then flashback to the kids the problem with that is at the end of this there's a climactic battle between the kids and it and who's going to survive Probably everyone we saw in the flash forwards, <laughs> yes, I guess. Exactly. All the people who are adults now, which yeah. is all of them. It's also, they changed the start because in the book, it starts with a hate crime. But this, it's like, what if a clown took another girl? What do you think of that? And then they're like, oh, but what I if see, a clown right. then, flashback, took a boy? I'm like, wow, this is getting serious. Yeah, for this sure. Is a, this is a serious situation. And you've got to watch out if you're a kid in this town and you're not one of the main kids, mm. you're dead. Yeah, absolutely. But in this, in this movie, <laughs> if you are one of the main kids, watch out because you're going to be scared for a series of months yes. by a variety of non-threatening traps that you can easily escape from if you choose to. Or we'll just cut away. That's true. Or that are just there for a minute and they aren't. <laughs> you might, you know, you, you might fear for your life or your dead dad might show up and say you're fat yeah. and then leave. <laughs> that's, a fate that's worse than wrong. death, yeah. in some people's opinions. Now, I know a lot of the time we spend on our show, the weekly kind of podcast, and also this caravan of garbage, mm -hmm. just being like, look at this idiot from a different period of time. And I try not to rail on that too much. Mm -hmm. Look at that idiot with that ponytail. What oh was my he god! Thinking? So the main character—it's tied with a shoestring. Oh have you, my I don't god! Know if you noticed. <laughs> the main character, as with all Stephen King main characters, is a writer, and he is Stephen King. He's Stephen King. He's absolutely <laughs> Stephen King. I wonder if Stephen King at the time had a ponytail and big aviator glasses, or is this the this is Stephen King's like? Now, if I were a super cool yeah. writer in in 1990, this if is I had how I'd be. If I had the guts, I would grow the. <laughs> of course, young uh, Bill. Mm. Played by Jonathan, the late Jonathan Brandis. Jonathan yeah. Brandis, yeah. Who I remember most fondly from Sequest DSV, where he used to train a dolphin in naval combat. That's correct. And the dolphin could talk, <laughs> something along those lines. You say that so skeptically, but yeah, duh. <laughs> that's exactly what it was, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a couple of people that are no longer with us. Uh, John Ritter as well. Yep, that's right. He's got a nice picture of Time magazine in his house with his face on it that yep. looks like something you'd get at a carnival, like yeah, a fake sure. printout. <laughs> it's like Time's Man of the Year. This guy. And when like you Van Handsome. That's well that's the thing, because when they flash back and they're like, look at this fat kid. He's not very fat. He's like a regular sized regular, kid. Yeah. But I feel like also he could beat up all of those bullies. And those bullies, even though I think one of them is at least 28, sure, <laughs> I, right. I feel, with their greaser haircut. Yeah, the age range in that class is insane. And they do make mention of like, Henry Bowers, you're gonna be kept down again. But the guy behind him, I'm like is that Henry's dad? Who is this guy? <laughs> Why is he in here? Is he like another teacher? I don't He's know what's going on. He's the principal. He's observing. No, the, the principal day. is the smoking man from the X-Files, oh, remember? Right, yeah. One of the characters is, that gets a lot of play in, in the new movie is, is it's, it's kind of the similar kind of storyline, but Ben's like, your hair's like, he sends her a poem's like, your hair's like fiery embers, I love it. She's got brown hair. She's got regular brown hair. <laughs> you couldn't just get a redhead. What I love though, most about that character is her very 80s and 90s job, which is impressing a Japanese investor. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Wasn't that a big trope what of the it? era? Yeah. I think she didn't bow, like, deep enough. No, but not properly enough, yeah. I but so. I, I think they got the deal done, though, because they're celebrating afterwards, oh, obviously, with a bit of champagne. And doing it. And the boyfriend's got these giant pyjama pants. <laughs> giant oh, giant stripey, and, yeah, for sure. And the big mullet. It's just... Oh, my God. What an era. Yeah. But I feel like this is way more toned down than... Not only the book, but the new movie as well. well I mean, this this was on this was on network television. Yes, where the rule is tell, don't show. Yeah. The classic rule of just tell us a kid got his arm ripped off and then he died. Don't yeah, show it. Exactly, because in the and you know this from the movie, Ben gets he gets actually gets a letter carved into him. 
Yeah. Doesn't happen right. here. Apparently the bit where the blood comes out of the photo was really pushing boundaries. They're like, are we going to be able to get away with the blood coming out of photo? This seems pretty extreme, even for 1990. But then it's, everyone was like, who cares? Right. I, th I think if it comes out of an inanimate object, it's okay. Because you never actually, in, in part one at least, you never actually see anybody like be physically injured in any way, I don't think. No, I don't believe so. Well, let's talk about Pennywise. Okay. First of all, great performance by Tim Curry. He was actually the original animated The Joker before oh, yeah. Mark Hamill as That's well. Right. But of course, I know Tim Curry. If we're talking 90s sci-fi television. First time I saw him was Earth 2. Just call me a magpie, Commander. <laughs> The series Earth 2? Uh-huh, sure. Do you remember Earth 2? I remember Earth 2. Okay, it's so just me and you remember Earth 2 then. Yeah, because we're from Earth 2. <laughs> he more plays, Pennywise that is, he more plays in this movie like a tired drunk. Just like, oh, yeah, for I'm sure. going to get you. Uh, uh, just give me a minute. Hey, <laughs> can kid. You, can you cut away? Yeah. I was going to catch my breath. <laughs> I climbed out of this sewer and I'm... <sighs> he's got a good cackle. Look, I need a nap. He's got a fine cackle, but he, he is just like, hey, kid, if I could come over there, I'd... Kill you. Yeah, look, I can, uh, I can be a werewolf. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that? He, he does, he does become a lot of tropes. Like he becomes a werewolf and he becomes a giant spider and becomes a skeleton out of a lake. Becomes a skeleton out of a lake. Is yeah. He, was this Stephen King's? Was it his idea to be like? You know what? You think things are scary. You think it's a werewolf scary. I do. I think a, a little thing that I've invented is a little scarier. <laughs> a clown. Also, why are your balloons not red? I swear from the book they were red balloons. Huh? I may be wrong, but the first thing when he's in the drain, he's like, look at this yellow balloon. I'm like, oh, come on! <laughs> That's a staple of the It franchise, maybe. <laughs> what I love about the bullies in this series is they're very terrible at being bullies. They're always being hit with rocks or or kicked down or just made fun of. They're covered in popcorns and, and drinks. They're not very threatening. They're just not good bullies. Be better <laughs> at being a bully. Is this video being sponsored by bullies? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Bully Council of America? Use the offer code, <laughs> Weekly Flatters. Get your own bully. He'll come to your house. Get a bullying kit. <laughs> Contains all the things you need be, to be a bully. A switchblade. <laughs> a weird haircut that, like, turns into a stalactite down the middle. A, a worn-out leather jacket. A dad that beats you up. He's in the box. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. But I just feel like th these are not good bullies. And then at the end when Henry Bowers, the main bully, turns into Billy Idol. Did you like that? Oh, for sure. <laughs> he gets the white hair. Because he's got... because the spider climbs well, again, over him. That's the thing. He's a pseudo main character. So he yeah. isn't killed. Rather than that, he just becomes insane because he's yeah. somewhere in the middle. Yeah. What I did like that a lot. <laughs> The shower scene, there's a bit of stop motion in this, including yeah. when it comes out of the shower, or Pennywise comes out of the shower oh, yeah. drain or whatever. There's a, is there's it, a bit of that okay, going on. I would like your evaluation. Is it bad just for now? Was it also bad in 1990? What else do you do in television in the 90s? Yeah, like you can't right? really do CGI, can you? That's true, yeah. Yeah, so uh -huh. I, think it's, I think it's fine for the time and yeah. kind of a fun novelty for now. I never mm. understood, and maybe this is an American thing, but it's certainly not in well, the school I went to. Is is it showers that come off the wall and like <laughs> chase you and <laughs> corner no, we, you and scare you? We have you? that. We have yeah, that we here. Do. You, mean, you mean like a communal shower? A communal shower where it's like, You've been running around in gym for 34 minutes? Get in the shower. I wondered Kids about... run around all day. Yeah. You don't need to have everyone yeah. get in a weird shower room together. I wonder that as well. Doesn't same, make any sense. Same with the bullies. Don't do it. Same with the bullies. Did they have switchblade wheeled and bullies in, back in that era or not? Maybe but yeah, they did. No showers in Australian schools. It's, it's, if anything, you bloody... You bloody... Mate, you jumped in the... What's the thing we have? A damn, billabong. Jump in a, a billabong. <laughs> billabong. Jump in, you jump in a, billabong. a billabong. That's right. I would love to know, though, if that's like a thing. Yeah. If it's ever been a thing, is it still a thing? If yes. it is a thing, do you like it? I can't imagine anybody <laughs> would. Yep. I don't know. It just seems odd to me. Is that why that scene is so scary for a lot of people? Because mm. it's just a weird clown man perving on you in the shower. Yeah, but also I think the coach is weird, bro. It's like, where do you think you're going? Have a shower, mate. Get your kid off. Get in this. <laughs> get in a shower. Mm. No. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, what I really like about It Chapter 1, the mm -hmm. movie, the newer movie, is that at the end, they really beat up that clown. They just lay into him so good. It's just... It feels like 10 to 11 minutes of him going, now I'm a different thing. And they're like, we don't care. And they <laughs> We've just got this crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Is the thing you've turned into crowbar proof? <laughs> Looks like it ain't. But in this one, it's kind of like, it's, it's a slingshot and like, a, you know. Battery a, acid. A battery acid or, 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 you know, they pretend it is or whatever. Because you really, you only need your imagination to kind of get through oh, it. Oh, yeah. Or whatever. But, and then he just kind of. He squirrels away down the drain. I'm like, that wasn't very satisfying. I wish they beat him up way more. Because they really just circle him and I'm like, that's bullying. That's proper 
old school bullying. Well, clearly they purchased the bullying kit. <laughs> they must have. It's yeah. the Offer Code <laughs> Weekly Planet Pod. <laughs> it chapter one, though, of course, it, it ends in they all link hands and like. What also starts that way, where they're like, we're going to return and then mm. we're going to come back and we'll get this clown next week, I guess. Or in 27 years or whatever, whatever's going on. Did you find it a satisfying conclusion, even though they showed the conclusion at the start and you're also aware of the story, I'd imagine? Well, with a leading question like that, <laughs> my answer is your leading question was very long and I've forgotten <laughs> which way I'm supposed to go. Yes or no? The bad one. I didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it, yeah. I mean, does it have merit for the time, though? Could you see how it would be scary? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And, you know, I, and I think... Having seen part one of the most recent two-parter, we have the benefit of CGI. Yes. We have the benefit of you can have him, like, jaw open insanely and have him multiple rows of spinning, glowing teeth yeah. or whatever. We have a rating system where you can see brutal violence and we have a budget where if blood comes out from a, a faucet yeah. or, like, a sink... It's not it, one balloon. It's worth. not one balloon. It's a room's worth, you know? Yeah. So I think those kids that told me the plot of it at the time were right. It would have been scary at yeah. the time. You're probably right. Well, also, this was supposed to be originally George Romero was going to do it as like a 10 hour miniseries and I'm not, I'm not sure necessarily that would have been better at the time but I think this would have benefited from I don't know some fleshing out of some of the characters or maybe just make it shorter maybe that's what it would have benefited, <laughs> benefited on look I think it just would have been better if he had have done it in general oh yeah I for feel, sure yeah mm -hmm. but yeah look all in all it's fine isn't it <laughs> Yep. At least part one was. Uh -huh. Apparently part two's not good either, but I look forward mm -hmm. to coming back next week to see how is it? How does it even compare to the modern It Chapter 2? Probably worse, I'd imagine. Absolutely worse. I just want to see more ponytails, though. You get that. Oh, thank God. Yeah. No problem. Anyway, this has been Caravan of Garbage. Don't forget to subscribe because, again, yeah, It Chapter 2 next week. And also we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We've got an upcoming episode on... The New It Chapter 2 2019. I'm so excited. I'm also so excited. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies I'm on at, Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Swing on by. You got a suggestion for Caravan of Garbage? We'll do it. Do you want us to do one of the 50 Stephen King adaptations? We'll do all of them. Do you want us to you do... You want us to do one? We'll do all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you want us to do the good version of The Shining or the one that Stephen King directed? Because he or didn't like... Or do you like just want it. us to do 10 minutes on the bit in Ready Player One <laughs> yeah. where they go to The Shining Hotel? <laughs> That's fine too. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we'll see you next week, though. Grab that gem, you guys. Goodbye.